Hello, 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 everyone. All right, welcome back to my channel. Let's see what we got for you today. Boy, oh boy, we have such a common car in many places around the world, especially for Europe. This model specifically, it was very common in Europe. I'm not sure in other parts of the world, like Asia or Africa. And I'll explain to you why I do not include Latin America. Now, what we got for you right now, it's a 143 scale. 1982 Opel Corsa A. Now, this is a magnificent Opel Corsa. Very simple, very small. What well, you may say, why why you give us so much credit? Well, this model right here is the one that opened up the doors for many other countries to have a small economic basic car. I'm gonna say that not specifically this model because this model we did not exp I'm gonna talk about Latin America, more including South America. This model specifically, we did not have it here in, in um, South America, but we did have it in, I mean, we did have the older, the younger models. I would say the ones after 1990, I think 1991, when they started making, the, if you remember the Opel Corsa, the, the round one, the one that had, looked, had round headlights, Round tail lights, everything was round. It was like a big bubble. That model in Latin America was a, such a success. Also in Mexico, I remember seeing in Mexico, they sold them as Chevrolet Corsas. Boy oh boy, they sold everywhere. They were cheap. They were economic. They were attractive, and they were you know they were modern. And the model was attractive. We were not seeing those boxy little Fiat Unos. Or those boxy Volkswagen Golfs. No, we were looking at a round little car. A round little Volkswagen. Um, Opel or Chevrolet. You know, Chevrolet was part of GM and Opel is part of GM. So, in most of, most of South America, Opel cars were made in Brazil as Chevrolets. Opel models. Brazil, they made them, I think Brazil, most of them. They made them over there. And I'm not sure if Argentina had a few of them factories. But going back to this, going back to this model right here, this is the first generation. This model was also sold in the UK, not as Opel. You know that UK had Vauxhall. So they had the Vauxhall, they call them over there in the UK. I also have that model, by the way, guys. My friends from the UK, I also have the Vauxhall. I think you guys call it Nova? Nova, yes. But um, that will be in a future video. So going back to this one, I love the simplicity of this car. No, right, just a little hop cup in the center of the wheel. Nothing crazy, nothing that... But it was a car that anyone could purchase. It was a cheap car, quite reliable. I've seen pictures of some countries in Europe and they still have them on the roads. So when you have a car, a economic car, economic car, economic car, that it's about almost 40, no, it's actually already 40 years old. 40 year old economic car on the roads, it means the car was well, well put together at least, you know, and quite reliable. And attractive as I find them. I don't know, guys. I have an eye for any type of car. It doesn't have to be a luxury car for me. You give me an economy car, I try to look at the attractiveness, attractiveness in each and every car. You put me a cargo van, and I have the same thing. I don't have a. I don't have to be. Oh my God! It has to be a Mercedes Benz, or it has to be a a Lexus, or. You have to put me only a Lamborghini in front of me for me to do it now. Come on. Let's be let's be realistic, guys. We don't see Lamborghinis every day in the streets. I do every every type of car. I do luxury cars like I do economy cars, like I do uh station wagons, cargo, you put it up. Car convertibles, cabrelets, however you call it. You know what I'm saying. 
Alright guys, so like I said, this was the first generation of the Oppo Corsa. This model ran from 1982 all the way down to 1993. So that was an 11-year run. Quite good. Simple engines, four cylinders. It, it came up from a 1.0 all the way down to a 1.6. Different engines in between, only manual, no automatics. All right, guys. So I put, um, I let it go around a few times. So you got a nice look at the car. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Again, before I forget, please do not forget to give me that nice thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. It shows me that you're enjoying these videos as much as I'm enjoying making them. Again, now, don't forget to click and subscribe. And click the bell next to the subscribe button, which will remind you when I'm posting more videos. All right, and let me know in the comments what you guys think about these cars. Do you remember seeing them on the road? As a what brand? As a Vauxhall? As an Opal? As a Chevrolet? Now, well, this model specifically, not as a Chevrolet. But let me know from what country you're from. Definitely, I would love to hear if you collect diecast, what models you have, and everything. All right, guys, so take care of yourselves more than ever, as they always say. And goodbye.